Hey what's going on guys, Kobamaka Games here. In this video we're gonna be masking rook relevant occupancy bits just like we did before in the previous video with bishops. So exactly the same idea but instead of masking bishops uh, bits for a uh, bishop we would have been masking this rook bits. So uh, the function would be almost the same. Uh, the only difference is within this uh, occupancy bits generation logic. So uh, I will simply, uh, sorry, uh, I will simply grab this code from mask bishop attacks and just change this slightly a bit the following way. So mask rook attacks, mask rook attacks. Uh, file ranks, target files, file and target ranks, initializations are all uh, about to be the same and the only difference we'll have here is actually to uh, to mask the actual squares. So as far as uh, bishops were moving diagonally uh, we did need to increment the both target rank uh, and target file but here uh, we don't need to do this simultaneously so we would be making this one by one. So uh, for and rank equals target rank plus one rank less equals than six and rank plus plus and now attacks bitwise or equals with uh, one unsigned long long left shifted by and in order to calculate the, the square that we would that would that we would be actually masking within our attacks so uh, we need to say rank multiplied by 8 and as far as we don't really have a file being initialized obviously so here we need to make use of this target file so I can say simply like plus target file here okay so uh, now let's uh, let me just command out this part and try to test mask rook attacks separately Let's put a rook on d4, okay, and in order to compile and run this source code I need to open the terminal in the current working directory and type make debug, uh, well obviously assuming that you've downloaded the source code containing the make file, so if you're following this series obviously the make file should be available, and if it, uh, if it compiles I want to run the binary executable called bbc which stands for Bitboard chess. Okay, but uh, yeah, obviously I didn't uh, say print bitboard, so I called the function but didn't actually print the bitboard output. So yeah, okay, we have a rook on d4 and it just attacks downward. So let's put the rook on uh, say d8 to give you a better idea of how exactly it looks like. So here we have the relevant uh, rook occupancy bits being masked. And now uh, we need to do the same for uh, all the other directions, for all the other attack rates. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, within, within the rook. So uh, I will probably just grab this thing here. So we want to go the opposite direction and also to make sure that we don't hit the board edge. So uh, when we increment and we make sure that the rank is less equals than 6 the rank counter and if we decrement in we make sure we need to make sure that it's greater or equals than one so to avoid hitting the board edges and yeah I think yeah and this uh, uh, the calculating of to transform the rank and fall into square logic uh, should be the same so let me just quickly check this and I just want to put the root back on d4 okay yeah perfect so we have this uh, opposite direction attacks uh, occupancy bits been masked as well so the next thing to consider we would be dealing with a false and file would be equal target file plus one less than equals than six file plus plus and uh, the difference is that we actually so in order to uh, generate a square we're adding the file here and instead of rank we're using the target rank so let's have a look how it works uh, excuse me 
Oh, probably, probably something has gone wrong with the loop. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry guys. Obviously not random, but foul is less than less equals than six. Now this should work. Okay, so now we have this ray going to the right. Perfect. And the very last thing left here would be to make this to the opposite direction. So target file minus one, file greater equals than one, and file minus minus. Okay, perfect. So it seems like the rook uh, can attack to all uh, all the four directions. And the very last test uh, to make here would be to actually try to generate this relevant rook occupancy bits for a rook being placed on every single square on the chessboard. So just want to clear the console first. And now let's run our. Oh, sorry. Just. Uh, still make doing this for bishop attacks, so rook attacks obviously. And again, let's clear and run it again. Okay, so we got the rook on h1, then moving to g1, okay, okay, f1, okay. Yeah, it's, it's quite pretty, pretty nice already. So, not, not hitting the board edge at any point, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it seems like seems like it's working nicely. And I just want to have a look at the central parts. Okay. Okay, and how it starts basically. So it starts with the A8, goes to B8, okay, C8. Yeah. This is it. Well, okay guys, so this is it uh, regarding masking the relevant rook occupancy squares and the next couple of steps uh, we'll need to to make basically is to create a function that would be generating attacks for slider pieces on the fly but not in order to use it within the move generator obviously but in order to be able to initialize either the rook attack square uh, rook either the pre-calculated rook attack tables or a bishop attack tables so uh, those functions would be really uh, kind of similar to this mask functions. The only difference would be that we will, instead of uh, skipping the board dash squares, we will actually go for them and also will uh, pass the occupancy uh, argument within uh, bishop attacks and rook attacks functions. So eventually. Uh, uh, we would be dropping the attacking race. Uh, in case if uh, the attack ray actually hits uh, some sort of a piece that is that would be represented within the occupancy. But again, this uh, this this is already the topic of the next videos. So uh, I guess this is it from my side regarding this part. And we've just uh, finished uh, the very first step regarding the magic bit boards implementation. So we did mask the relevant occupancy bits to form a key. So, uh, I really appreciate you guys following this series, thanks for watching, see you in the next video, until then, and take care.